But before we get to that point, we need to know what the drafting lineup is for this fight card. Mikey Gills, have it. All right, so um, just based on what we were talking about, a fight cancellation earlier, uh, Zuma Gulov was in our lineup, but now we have an incomplete lineup, so we're obviously going to have to update this on Saturday. But I will give you the other five, starting off with Curtis Blades, like we just said. $9,300. Uh, winning money is exciting, and I like it. So that's why he's in the lineup. We don't have to go over it again. Next up, Josh Parisian, $9,000. You know, I, I like what I saw from Parisian in his contender series fights. He's creative. He comes at you from a bunch of different angles, and he keeps you guessing. He's also a much larger man who can beat up Porter from a distance, and I just don't see Porter being able to deal with it. It's hem- it's heavyweight MMA, and I love knockouts. Let's go. Uh, next up, Miguel Baeza. Eight, why did I add that weird accent on it? I'm sorry. Um, I like that. A uh, little yes. spice. Uh, anyway, $8,700. Uh, I just really like the way he strikes. I like I like his kicking game. And it, it, to keep a standard boxer like Soto away, and he can get Soto out, out of his element. You know, Baze is a finisher, too. And $8,700, it feels like a bargain price, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to lock him in there. I love, I love him in this play. Um, next up, $7,700. We just talked about it again. Devin Clark. I think really highly of Devin Clark. And in this matchup, I think even higher of him. Anthony Smith seems to be at that point in his career where giving up against strong grapplers is almost like a Pavlonian response. Like as soon as he gets taken down, his body just shuts down. And uh, so I saw you laughing because I made that joke earlier and I'm now repeating myself. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm so unoriginal. Next up, Malcolm Gordon, $7,100. Yeah, look, I get it. This is a bit of a punt play. In fact, it's a lot of a punt play. Uh, it's it's not without merit either. Like we said, all four of uh, Moody Jerry's losses were by submission. So I'm just dropping this pick with a little Doc Holiday and Tombstone. Like that's just my game. Like he he can pull off that submission. He can make it number five. So again, so right now we have five people in our DraftKings lineup: Curtis Played, Josh Parisian, Miguel Barreza, uh Devin Clark, and Malcolm Gordon. And we're gonna update with the last one. Right now, just off the top of my head, I'm leaning Derek Lewis just because it could go all five rounds, and there's the chance that Blades could score big for four and a half and then get knocked out and everybody wins, but I don't know. We'll update you guys on Saturday. I always do a huge rundown of every single fight. So right now those are our five. 